Up. We're joined now by TJ Pilari and Tom Healy, who are going to be talking to us about planned giving and the Love the Notre Dame initiative. Welcome to Notre Dame Day. Great to have you both here. Thank you. Good Thank to be you. here. Well, first of all, we'll get started. Can you just explain a little bit about what the Love the Notre Dame initiative is all about? Sure. So, Emily, planned gifts since Notre Dame's earliest days have provided a backbone of support for Notre Dame's life and work. And um, that's in thanks to generations of Notre Dame families. Today, maybe more than any other time in the university's history, um, these thoughtful gifts are essential for Notre Dame to plan confidently for the years ahead, um, beyond my lifetime and yours. And so this July, for the second time in university history, we are beginning a three-year plan giving initiative. Um, and we call it the Love the Notre Dame Initiative. And essentially, it's an invitation. Um, it's an invitation to our donors to um, help us sustain the sacred mission of this place for years to come and to think about playing gifts as a way to do that that's um, tax advantageous and financially beneficial. And what are the different kind of planned gifts donors can give to Notre Dame? Yeah, so there's, there's many. I'll mention just two very briefly um, and the two most common. The, the most common and, and often the most powerful way to make a planned gift is through an estate gift. Um, and um, these gifts um, are particularly important for Notre Dame because it allows us to take a long view. Uh, and for those donors that have included Notre Dame in their estates or who are considering it, we invite a conversation so that we can appropriately thank them um, and honor those gifts and uh, so that we can make sure that we're dedicating those gifts in a way that's consistent with their intentions. The other type of gift which is really powerful for Notre Dame and also for our donor families is something called a charitable remainder trust. And essentially it's a gift that allows donors to invest in the Notre Dame endowment um, and then to benefit both from an in income tax deduction in the year that they make the gift and a lifetime income stream. Okay, and Tom, you've been extremely generous to Notre Dame through your planned gifts. What motivated you to include Notre Dame in your estate? So my decision to include Notre Dame in my state was a decision that came both from the, the heart and the head. Uh, on the heart side, uh, my father went to Notre Dame, I went to Notre Dame. Um, I grew up loving Notre Dame football. I went to my first game in, when I was 12 years old. Uh, but you know, once I was, was experienced as a student and an alumnus, um, I realized there's a whole lot more to Notre Dame than football. Um, there's hockey, basketball, no, just kidding. <laughs> uh, but it, I got a, um, you know, the, the best collegiate Catholic education in the country. And um, I also, you know, a key thing for me, uh, my seven best friends were, were guys that were all in Pangborn Hall with me 40 years ago. So I give to Notre Dame because I want others to be able to um, experience that same education and experience and uh, spirit and camaraderie that, that I was able to get out of Notre Dame. And you may have already answered this next question, but why did you in choose to invest in Notre Dame's charitable remainder trust? So that was the, the kind of the head decision, that, that, uh, aside from the heart. Um, I, I went with the uh, charitable remainder trust uh, because it was just a good financial decision for me. Um, I was able to donate appreciated stock and avoid a capital gains tax on it. Um, I, I received a uh, tax deduction worth about a third of the charitable remainder trust uh, because you do receive quarterly annuities uh, tied to the return on the Notre Dame's endowment fund. And uh, since you receive those annuities, you, you uh, are then allowed to uh, deduct about, like I said, a third of uh, the amount. And what would you tell others who are interested in planned giving? Well, if, if you've ever wanted to have uh, Scott mail pass uh, as a fund manager for you, this is a great way to do it because the, the return on this is tied to Scott. Um, but I would uh, certainly encourage people to go to the, uh, the, the uh, planned giving website at Notre Dame and it'll give you all the options on how to participate in this. And you could find us, Emily, at plannedgiving.nd.edu. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you both for being here and thank thanks you. for your work for the university. All right. Done.